Kevin Maloney from the Maloney Method. Okay, today we're gonna talk about how to measure intensity. That's a very important thing because if you don't measure intensity, you do not know what fuel you are using and you can't measure progress. Basically, we have two gears from nature. We have foraging and hunting. Okay, foraging is when we used to just cruise the entire day walking, looking for food. Hunting is when we went into the super gear and had to run down food. Those two mechanisms are biological. They are with us today and they are the two metabolisms that run our bodies, our moods, our internal organs. Now, here's the thing, here's the difference with them. When you are on cruise control or foraging, okay, you're, you work up to 60 to 65% of your maximum heart rate. You draw all your energy from fat, all of it, up to 60 to 65%, okay? Now, what's interesting is this is a pretty easy pace. And this is where most of the health benefits take place, is in that zone. The capillaries, the mitochondria, they're all duplicating tremendously when you build that long distance cruise pace. Now, when you go from 60, 65% to 80, 85%, you then are pulling your energy from glucose. You change from this gear to that gear, okay? This is the amazing thing about the body. You literally can choose diesel or gasoline. You can shift and you have the information what is happening with each fuel that you use so that you can gear your workout towards what you want to accomplish. So, up to 65%, boom, you're pulling from fat. You pull the gear, you go hardy, you're pulling from glucose, okay? Now, how do you tell your percentage? How does a person judge what percentage they're working on? It's very important that you have what I'm going to tell you to get, okay? A heart monitor. A heart monitor gives you those zones. It gives you the truth. The reason you cannot do it based on how you feel is because we lie to ourselves all the time. We lie to, I, you go around, you ask someone, what, what's your bench press? Nine out of 10 people will add 75 pounds. You cannot get an honest answer from a human being about what their bench press is or how fast they run the mile. So, we do that to ourselves too. When we're looking, we're saying we're working hard, we're not working hard enough, whatever. The heart monitor gives you exact information so you can gear your workout to pull the fuel and use the fuel that you want to use. Now here's how you work the heart monitor. You take your age, okay, I'm 73. You take 220, you minus the 73, okay? So you're down to 147, something like that. Then you take 60% of that, okay? That is your rate when you wanna go 60%. When you wanna stay in the fat burning zone, okay? You, I would take 60% of that number okay when i want to go into a glucose burning zone okay i take 85 percent of that number okay now 
What it does, the heart monitor, literally, it's a strap and it's a watch, okay? So as you're doing your workout, you literally can establish a real number. Not only that, is also the heart monitor can test your recovery, okay? Recovery is one of the best criteria to show exactly what kind of condition you're getting in, okay? After 90 seconds, I drop down to this number on my heart rate. After 120 seconds, I drop down to this number on my heart rate, okay? You'll notice the better condition you get into, okay, the quicker your recovery. The other thing the heart monitor gives you is it gives you your resting pulse, a correct in the morning resting pulse. Tremendous amount of information in that. If your resting pulse is low, that means everything's cool. You're really getting into tremendous condition, okay? So you establish, I get up in the morning, here's my pulse rate number, okay? Now if you get up one morning and all of a sudden it's 10 beats faster, that means you're heading into overtraining or you got a little cold or something going. So the heart monitor gives you all kinds of information because the body is a truth machine, okay? Human beings, really, a lot of us are not familiar with the truth. It's hard for us to give ourselves the correct information on exactly how hard we're working or how hard we're not working. So, what it does, too, is you literally can gear your workout. If you don't want to go hard that day, you gear your workout towards that 60 or 65%. And you don't have that intensity. And you don't have the stress on your head, okay? But you burn fat. You literally went for a good, nice walk. 60% everything was pulled from fat, okay? That allows you not to break the rhythm of training, okay? People stop training because they lose the habit of training. They don't stop training because the training got too tough or whatever, but of course that's part of it why they stop. But one day, one day because they were staring at a glucose workout they said i won't do it today okay that's a clink in the armor everything here in the maloney method is about sustainability okay so instead of looking at that glucose workout where you gotta shift gears and it's going to be hard you're going to be pushing hard man pushing hard okay you say, you know what? No, I'm going to go out that door. I am gonna do a workout. I am putting my sneakers on and I'm gonna do another fat burning workout. Now tomorrow, I may feel like getting into the glucose zone. If I don't feel like getting into the glucose zone, I'll do the fat zone again. Now what is happening there is you're entrenching the habit you're entrenching the habit the benefits of physical fitness it's about putting time in you will get short-term results okay but what you're looking for okay when you show up every day and it's right under the microscope okay your capillaries increase your mitochondria increases. Mitochondria is the engine, okay, that shoves out the fat and the glucose. You create more of those with consistent training, okay? So the consistency is much more important than how hard you happen to train that day. So what you're looking for is long-term training 
long-term health benefits. The heart monitor allows you to literally put a number on so when you're walking the streets, you know right now I am burning fat, right now I am building more mitochondria, and right now I am building more capillaries. When I'm ready to go harder, when I'm ready to pull and use that glucose, I will go there. There is one other gear. It's the life or death gear. And it's in nature, okay? You've seen it. When the lion goes after the antelope, it's, it's 10 seconds of raw, raw power. That's all you can take. And if you've ever watched the Animal Channel and you've watched the confrontation, speed versus speed, power versus speed, all these things are settled in about 10 or 15 seconds. That gear is the anaerobic gear. That gear, you don't use much. The health benefits of that gear are not many. You are literally operating without oxygen, which is the way it used to be way, way back before bacteria created the mitochondria, which reacted with the oxygen to create energy. So there is that super gear, but we don't need that super gear unless for some reason you gotta run down someone real hard or something happened and you gotta use that 10 or 15 seconds of raw power. For now, you wanna stick with your fat burning method, your glucose burning, me burning method, and you want to measure them. To measure them and avoid lying to yourself about how hard or how easy you're working, you gotta get a heart monitor. Okay, so that's your show for today on intensity. I want to tell you, we're now on Instagram, if you want to follow us. Uh, we're at MalonyMethod at gmail.com. That's Maloney with an O. And we will be back at you Friday with another interesting topic. Good talking to you.